Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be creating the animation and the effect on Framer that you see in front of you. So it's a parallax effect, which uses a bunch of elements like the turtle, the reef and the video, just these three. And then if you scroll down, you have something like this. You have the text obviously going behind the reef. You have the turtle going up and you also have the reef coming up slightly from its position. So we're going to be creating that and I'm going to be showing you an end to end process as to how to create this from grabbing the images, where to grab the images, how do you actually crop them? and stuff along those lines, get rid of the background and where to get the video from. So it's not just like I have all the assets and you're just not sure what to do next. So do stay tuned, do subscribe and do hit the bell icon. Okay guys, so what you need to do first of all to create something like this is an image. So I already have this image open, but you can find any image that you can work with. Ideally that image needs to be from the front. So when you're looking at it from the front, it shouldn't be from the top, it shouldn't be from the side. So make sure. So if I was to use this image, this can work as well, but I want the text to hide behind the, behind the reef. So obviously this wouldn't work because it wouldn't hide behind uh, the reef completely. I would still be able to see it from here. So you can pick any particular image. We can pick this one. I think this can work as well, this one, but I've already decided that I'm going to pick this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna download the free image. And what we are going to do is we're gonna open our Photoshop and I already have had this image here. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually grab this image in Photoshop. Now, obviously I already have the beta version of Photoshop, the new version, but if you don't have it, I'm actually going to show you what you need to do if you don't have it. So the first thing that you're going to need to do, need to do is you can erase the, uh, and you can actually get a Photoshop in Figma as well. And there are tons of like free alternatives for Photoshop as well. But what we are basically doing is I'm opening the erase tool and I'm just erasing everything and I need to soften up the brush and I'm gonna tell you why. Or actually you're gonna figure out why we're softening the brush. So I'm just gonna reduce the hardness. So then it's gonna be something like this. And maybe we can hide these as well. So I think this looks pretty well. If you want to fine tune it, we can. I mean, if you want to do that, you can, but I think something even something rough like this is also fine as well. So I'm just gonna press Command S we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna say this is going to be our reef. We're gonna save it as a PNG, that's really important. Then what we're going to do is we're gonna open up a new, obviously, framer page here. And we can also go ahead and now, let's see what, what, are, what other things do we want. Maybe we want a, we, let's go to Pixabay. And maybe we want a underwater video or something. Under, Let's go to videos and then search for underwater. Okay. So we have a bunch of these effects. I think these look good, but maybe I actually want a light, right? So let's probably ch get this light and you can get any light that's coming basically from the top um, and the view is from the front. So the light is coming obviously from the top. The view is at the front. I think this works. Let's go to unsplash again and I'm just going to search for a turtle. So let's find a turtle. You can also any insert any other things that you basically want. So we're gonna insert this turtle. We can insert, we ideally don't wanna insert like turtles from the top because we're basically showing a turtle or showing the screen from the side. So we don't want that. Maybe we can get this turtle. I'm just gonna go ahead and actually download it for free. There you go, we have this turtle. I'm just gonna go ahead and actually drag this in to Photoshop. I'm not gonna use generator fill. I'm just gonna remove this background. There's an option to actually remove the background directly in Photoshop, in normal Photoshops as well that you may have. Or you can just try any other tool to basically just remove the background, right? So now that we're done with that, I'm basically just gonna select everything by pressing Command A, and then I'm gonna paste the turtle here as an image. Obviously you can manually import it as well. That's perfectly fine. One thing, as you can see, this is sticking to the top because it's basically in an auto layout just to help you explain the concept a bit. I'm going to move this into this intro section. We're going to basically place this intro section. We are going to give it a width of like one FR, which is basically the fill container. And then we're going to give it a height of, let's say a fixed height of 800 pixels. Maybe, I don't know, or maybe even more 900. Let's see how big this is. Okay, I think this is actually fine. So we're gonna change the turtle name to turtle, obviously. I'm gonna basically grab, bring the turtle in the middle. Then we have the image, where did the image go? So we have the reef image. We're gonna basically click outside and then paste it. If we click, if we 
click the intro section or any other section and then place it it's actually going to add that add this particular thing as an image which is something we don't want okay so now this reef image is there we actually want to pin it to the left and the right so we're going to basically move it to the center and i'm just going to go ahead and actually drag it a bit at the bottom and if you press space then it's actually going to stay within this section Re pretty similar to what figma does right so okay that's fine and we just want to go ahead and actually place everything before we actually start messing around with the effects so this looks good actually i want to just change this to reef as well and i'm going to lock the reef because i don't want to select it anymore the turtle definitely needs to be smaller and he needs to be rotated somewhere upwards like this because it's, he's flowing upwards maybe and then we need to grab our video i'm going to press i i'm going to search for a video here is our video i'm going to place it and i'm going to basically move it up to the top left and i'm going to scale it like this and then we are going to go to the video upload we're going to choose the file that we have it's this file and just paste it here and we need to basically move this at the back of the reef now as you can see maybe this is not blending in that much if we actually press command play it this is a bit blue this is a bit green so maybe we need to change the color of the reef a bit and we can do that in photoshop as well but we can come to styles here we can go to filters and we can change the hue a bit so i'm going to change the hue to something that's closer to the green color that we have here maybe something like this makes sense let's have a look at it uh, i think this is pretty good let's see if we can adjust a bit okay i think now i adjusted it this looks perfect now obviously as you can see this pics this picture is pretty small in resolution so it's being pixelated so you can definitely pick a much better quality picture download a better quality picture so now that we're done with that let's create back actually let me just go ahead and actually lock everything because we don't want to mess with these things so now that we're done with that let's go ahead and actually add some text discover under discover under water discover the underwater experience maybe like i don't know how to write these taglines but basically you have something like this you can choose a color i think this color is fine i actually played around with it so it looks good i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to make sure that this particular text size actually is a bit less like 1000 pixels i'm gonna center this i actually don't actually let me first of all center it and see how this looks actually this turtle needs to be a bit below the text so we're going to go ahead and actually bring it here the turtle needs to be above the reef somewhere here i think this is fine and i think this generally looks fine so now we're going to add a logo here we're going to say this is going to be like maybe under experience that looks like a a bad logo <laughs> name but let's just add it still okay so let's just make it white a bit with a a bit of shade and then reduce the font size obviously to something like maybe 40 that's fine let's just go ahead and duplicate this here let's reduce the font size to 20 because we are going to add some links the first thing i'm actually going to do is i'm basically going to select both of these things press command option enter and name this our header I'm going to add a space in between both these elements, a space between. There you go. And I'm going to add a padding as well. Sorry, padding to the header as well, like something like maybe 48. And I'm going to pin it to the top left and I'm going to basically give expand it. Okay, I'm also going to press this. I'm going to select this and I'm going to press shift enter, command option enter. And I'm going to duplicate a bunch of links because here are the links. And also I want to go ahead and actually make sure everything's centered. Okay, th here this one is going to be about. This one is going to be contact us, maybe. And this one is going to be login, perhaps. Let's see if this looks fine, generally. I feel like this text is a bit too big. Logo text is a bit too big. And maybe the middle text is also a bit too big. 32. Let's make the logo 32. This looks much better. This text is a bit too big. Actually, let me go and actually make this text a bit larger in width. discover and discover the depths discover the 
insane depths something like that i'm not even sure okay so now that we're done with that i think this maybe looks fine now that we actually i still want to go ahead and reduce the font to maybe 120 pixels i feel like still that's still a bit too much for my taste okay this looks good the website is done you can go home now <laughs> Not that much, but let's just go ahead and actually go to our layout. Actually, is there? Yeah, I'm gonna press shift enter to select the, the column that's above. Go to our layout, add a space in between 24 pixels here. And then we are gonna go ahead and actually add our animations. So the animation that first of all, that we actually wanna add is we wanna bring this behind the reef in the layers panel. And what we want to do here is we want to add a scroll animation. So I'm going to go ahead and add effect. I'm going to say the scroll speed is going to be modified and maybe it's going to be slightly less, let's say 40%. So now if we're scrolling down, as you can see, it's scrolling with us with a slightly lesser speed. We also want to go ahead and actually add some other elements on the page, uh, like a footer, maybe a footer. So we can even see when, when it's actually animating a footer, then maybe some other sections, I don't know. Let's go to some sections, maybe a contact, I guess. So there you go. We have a few, a few things like that. We're gonna press Command P and let's see the effect. So this looks good, I think. This actually looks pretty good. One thing that we want to do is now, we want to maybe bring this turtle up a bit. So let's just go ahead, do, go to the turtle. Actually, the turtle looks fine to me, but if we want to go ahead and still add it, we can say that the scroll speed is going to be something like, I don't know, 140. If we have it 140, let's see what happens. So the turtle, the turtle is going up with the scroll. This, this is coming a bit down. And maybe we actually want to move the turtle on the right as well. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure about that particular one. I'm instead going to add an appear effect here. We're going to say that this is going to actually, this text is going to come from the bottom up. It's going to be a ease in effect. And the time duration is maybe going to be one second. So let's see what this looks like. Actually, I want a delay as well. So instead of just having this particular effect, I want to go here and I want to say that this appears after one second. So now something like that. I think this looks good. Maybe the reef also. Like we can actually make the reef appear as well after a particular time i'm going to say effects it should appear after let's say shouldn't scale in should actually slide in from the bottom as well since we're doing the same effect there as well ease in in maybe one second and we don't necessarily need to add a delay here and let's see just how that looks and maybe just maybe this needs to be a bit uh slower Two seconds. Uh, not sure, but you can play around with it. You can definitely play around with it. I'm just gonna say 1.5. So I think that's fine. With regards to the turtle, maybe the turtle floats <laughs> indefinitely <laughs> in the ocean. So that's basically some of the effect that I was talking about or that I promised and it's basically here. If we want, we can actually even bring the reef up. So I guess since we were talking about like parallax effects, you may actually need it. I don't think it's needed here in this video, but I'm still going to talk about it. So you can actually control this. You can actually change anything when the cursor is scrolling. So instead, I'm going to say, okay, this is going to be zero, zero. There's going to be no change here. Actually, sorry, the opacity is going to be one and the scale is going to be one as well. And then maybe when it comes to this, or when actually the scroll happens, I want to do something. And what do I want to do? I can go ahead and like choose the 2D or 3D transform, but 3, 3D transforms don't really work well with uh, 3D images. They work well with obviously just vector layouts and stuff along those lines. So what I want to do is I want to say that maybe this should also scroll a bit up, upwards when you're scrolling. So now if we play it, we have this. And then as we're scrolling down, as you can see the reef itself is actually coming a bit upwards. So you have the text going down, the turtle obviously is moving, but the reef itself is also coming upwards. So this is how you can create a pretty simple parallax scrolling animation.